So let's talk lead scoring. And we're gonna look quickly uh, at two different sides of it. So on one side, we've got our explicit data. This is our demographic information. This is how well is someone uh, fit in with our company or our organization and the products and services that we're selling. So looking at their job title, are they in the right role? Is it an industry that our organization is targeting? All of those make up somebody's explicit score. And someone who is a high fit but hasn't yet engaged with you, that's gonna be someone who's primed for nurturing because we know, hey, this is who we want to be talking to, but they're not that familiar with us yet. They haven't shown an interest yet. So they're, they're gonna be someone we want to start to kind of educate and start to move through that buyer's journey. Um, the other end of the spectrum is someone who is extremely engaged. Uh, maybe they've you know, watched a webinar, they've been uh, all over your white papers, checking out case studies, but they're not a great fit. Um, and this is typically true if someone's lower in a company, um, we need to be talking to someone who's more of a decision maker. Um, anyone who meets both the criteria for a great fit and is highly engaged, these are obviously our sales ready leads. We wanna get them in the hands of our sales team as fast as possible. And so that's why we combine these scores to take a look and say, okay, the best ones, they are sales ready. The ones that are a great fit, but haven't engaged yet, we want to nurture those. And those that are highly engaged, but just aren't the right person, we know that those can be disqualified. So 